So I'm in Toaster at WH Lead. Now this is now the home for the Leadwell machines. I'm with Steve Wright. Um, we've got a machine behind us here which I've looked at before. I think it's a real gem. And I think it's a real gem because of it, the flexibility that it offers. Steve, this is the V30 IT. Maybe you could just talk us through the spec of the machine briefly. Okay, yeah, as you can see, we've got a fixed table on the left hand side, which people tend to use for first operation and then move on to the uh, rotary and tilt. So we've got uh, 120 degrees in a minus direction, which is towards us. That's towards you, yeah. Yeah, and 40 degrees away from us. Just really for visibility of the tool when it's working on the rear side, you can't actually see it from the front. So. And what's the difference then, Steve, in your opinion, between buying, let's say, a straightforward uh, VMC, like we've got behind us, the VF30 IF over there, and just adding a tilt-turn table to it? Why would you go this way? And I mean, some people think when they buy the dad on fourth and fifth axis that they can keep taking it off and get the full-size table. But obviously, you're talking sometimes two, three hundred kilos. So the problem physically taking it off and it's not quite so easy, the connections. Um, that, so that would have been, it's a good, that's exactly the answer I think I would have said as well, because I think when you look at having tilt turn tables on VMCs, they're quite cumbersome. They often overhang the ends of the table, don't right. they? So it, it's not quite as neat and tidy as what you have here. And when I look at the machine, Steve, tell me how uh, the degrees and the axis movement on that table are. Okay, the, the rotary table is 360 constant. So that'll continue, it'll reset every 360, so on the screen it'll only show zero degrees when it reaches 360. And then on the, uh, the uh, angled head we've got minus 140 degrees which is towards us and plus 40 which is the head going away from us. And when it goes away from, that would worry me a little bit, the fact I can't see what's happening. So you could do the majority of the work with it facing you, couldn't you, but just index it through a, an additional 90 or 180 degrees. That's right, yeah, you could go 180 degrees and still work on minus 120 this side, so you're still working on the other side of the component. And is the main difference between what you have here to the normal VF30 IF just the fact that you've just got this different configuration of table? That's right, that's what uh, a lot of people come to look at it for. They've got the fixed table on the left so they can use the uh, simple operation sometimes blocking up and then transfer onto the fourth and fifth so they can work on five sides plus the angle faces and when you sell these and you, you've sold many of them do you sell them into companies that are that really initially are thinking of just buying a three axis and then they see this and they think actually there's a real advantage to me there to be able to leave the machine running uh sometimes but then again we've got people that have already done the full five axis with a trunnion and see the benefits of having a fixed table on the same machine so they can do the one operation, transfer to the uh, fourth and fifth and finish the part off completely. Is it quite uh, simple to, to program it here at the control as well? Yeah, it depends what the part is. I mean, it's more when you get to a, a 3D, three-dimensional part that you would need to program it offline. Uh, but holes, you know, whole inclined angled holes, things like that, even to tapping them, you know, you can do out the machine. And of course there's cost. You know, we, we look at this as a, as a solution, a, a, an entry level, maybe a first five axis machine or five axis offering, but it's very competitive, isn't it? Very competitively priced. That's right, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, if you look at uh, the machine next to us, a V30, it's the same size machine, physically and uh, axis wise. But then you get a fourth and fifth, for uh, a very small increase really. Yeah, excellent. Uh, available to see here in Toaster, your new facility. Good to be able to show these machines off, isn't it? That's right, yeah. So it's always a big benefit to be able to uh, show the machines in nice clean condition. And just a, a couple of words, the uh, White House Machine Tools, uh, this is a satellite company, WH Lee. There's a good synergy between those two businesses, isn't there? The, very, the fact that the market that we're talking about here, general job shops, but then White House obviously off, offering their, um, in a lot of senses, sophisticated technology. It means that some of the resource can come across from the knowledge base there to be able to help people with machines like this adopt new strategies. That's right, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, 
it's always a benefit to have somebody who's looking at things from a different angle. Good stuff. Machine is available from stock. This is the V30IT. I said it's a gem. I think it's a gem because I, I, I think it's a very small footprint machine. Um, you're talking about a machining centre that's almost like the size of a, a 600 VMC, but you have got that fully integrated uh, five-axis solution, which means, as, as Steve said, you can use this as a normal general purpose milling machine, but of course with the option and the opportunity to do that multi-face machining, available from stock, very competitively priced. Contact WH Lead via their website.